guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these really easy cat toys. Here's the first one I made and then I have the second one which is um, the same thing but a little bit longer and it actually hangs on the door handle. I found this pattern over on Lionheart Brands website so if you want the link to that you can find that over at my blog and all the links will be in the description box below. So if you like what you see then stick around. Okay, so I'm just going to be making a magic circle and I do have a link for how to do a magic circle if you want to check that out or if you wanted to you could do chain two and then do six um, single crochets into the second stitch. So I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to do five more. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just going to pull this out a bit. Cinch up my circle. Put my hook back in that loop. Go into the chain space. And then do a slip slip stitch through that, and then that will complete our circle. So from here we are going to be doing a two single crochets into each stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then 11 and 12, and then that will be two in each stitch, giving a total of 12 single crochets. And then you go into the chain one, do a slip stitch. And that will complete the row. Now from here, we're going to, again, chain one. And then we're going to do another one in that stitch. So that counts as two. And then we're going to go one in the next. And then two in the next. And then one in the next. And then two in the next. So you're just going to repeat that all the way around. And then when you get to the end of the row, you're going to slip stitch. So that is the end of row three. So now for row four, we're going to be doing a chain one, another single crochet into the same stitch, 
and then one in the next, and then one in the next, and then two in the next. So it's going to go two, one, one, two, one, one. So right now we're just basically making a flat circle, which is oh, a lot of circular patterns are like this. So if you've done a lot of patterns thus far, then this will be pretty easy and you've probably done this before. Kitty's always floating around whenever I'm trying to crochet. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to keep going to the end of the row and I'll meet you back to start on to row 5. Okay, so now that we're at the end of the row, we're just going to do a slip stitch. And now we should have four rows, one, two, three, four. And now we're going to work on row five, and row five is going to be one single crochet in each stitch, so we won't be doing any increases. And we will go as big as we want it to be, or as big as our ball. So if you have, um, you know, a different type of ball, if it's bigger, then you could do a, another increase, and if you did another increase, then it could be two single crochets and then one in the next three stitches. But if you have a ball similar to mine, which I got these from the dollar store, it's probably about an inch and a half, I'd say, then you will do as I'm doing. Or you could just do as I'm doing, fill it with some polyester fiber fill and then put a ball or a bell inside and just do it that way. But these these are very good. The cat doesn't really love these. Um, it's hard for her to pick up, I think, so it'll be a lot easier for her to pick it up once it's in here. So I'm just basically using what I have so that I don't waste money going out and buying bells or something. Okay, so one single crochet into the next, into every stitch. Okay, so I'm going to continue this and I'm going to complete my row five and then I'm going to do two more rows exactly the same. So one single crochet crochet in each stitch. So I will meet you back when we start row 8. So like I said, 5, 6, 7 is all going to be exactly the same. Okay, so here we are. We are done 7 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I'm going to take my ball and put it inside. So if you are doing a ball like me, then you will continue crocheting around the ball. If you are doing a stuffing with a bell, then you can um, do a few more rows until, you know, you have about like a finger hole worth and then you can just stuff it with your finger. So um, what we're going to do from here is single crochet two together and then do one single crochet into the next two. So two single crochet two together. First I did my chain one and then I'm going to go into the first loop, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop. So you have three loops on your hook and then I will go through all of those loops and then I will go into the next stitch do a single crochet, go into the next stitch, do a single crochet, and then again, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, 
pull up another loop and then go through all three. So we're just going to continue that around. Right now we don't have to put the ball in necessarily because it's not going to close up too quickly. But the next one you're going you're going to do that for sure. So I will meet you back at the end of the row when you have completed row eight. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to curve in now. So it's probably best if I put the ball in. And this is where it's going to get a little fiddly because you are going to be basically crocheting around the ball. So it's kind of weird, but we are going to single crochet two together for the whole entire round. So it's going to decrease quickly here. So pull up a loop into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then through all three loops. Go into the first stitch, second stitch, all three. One, two, all three. One, two, three, one, two, all three, one, two, all three. And do it one more time. Ah. So if you were stuffing the ball from here, you could definitely still get your finger in there to stuff it. Okay, so now the ball is completely covered and you can either fasten off here if you want to or you can do another round which is what I'm going to do. So if you were going to fasten off, then you would, you know, t leave a generous tail and then you could sew it up with your darning needle. But because I'm going to continue on making a squiggly tail, um, it would be good to keep it attached. Okay, so now we have very tiny holes. I'm just going to go across, take some yarn, pull it through, do a slip stitch, and then we're just going to continue on making the tail. So here's the tail. Now, however long you make it, that's how long it will be. Um, if you notice that it looks like it's spiraled, but these are going to be around the, the chain. So if you chain 30 or 40, it will still be that long. So it's not going to get shorter. So this one is 41. but you can do it as long or as short as you want. If you were just making these as toys just to you know hang around the house, you can make it short. Um, if you're gonna hang it from a door, you can make it longer. So, we're just doing chains now. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I'm just going to do 21 just so that things go a little bit faster. And what you will do from here is you will go into the second chain from hook and you will be doing three single crochets. So 
one, two, three. So three single crochets into that same stitch. Now you're going to go to the next chain or yeah, chain and do three single crochets. And then you're going to go to the next stitch or the next chain, do another three single crochets and you're going to continue along doing three single crochets into each stitch and as you can see it's already starting to curl and I will speed this part up just so that you can see how it curls and I will see you back when we are finished this chain. Okay, so here it is finished. So I'm just going to go in and grab a stitch and do a couple slip stitches. Fasten off. So here is the short version. And then here is the longer version. So here's the longer version and the shorter version. So the really great thing about these things is that you could have one ball hanging down and maybe make a bunch of these and you could tie them all to the ball or you could tie them all to a doorknob. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly how to make um, just a little strap to go around the door handle if you wanted to do that. Make a slip stitch And then you're just going to do a chain as long as you think would fit around the doorknob. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. I would measure it around my wrist. That's about If you have circle doorknobs in your house, then I'm sure that's enough. You don't want it to be too loose because then you don't want it to just, you know, fly off the handle, no pun intended. Okay, so then we are going to just connect the two. Try not to twist it. Go into that first stitch. Do a slip stitch and there it is and then you're just going to you can do single crochets around or half double crochets or double crochets it doesn't matter it's up to you but you're just going to keep going around doing one in each stitch Okay, so once you get back to the beginning, you're just going to do a slip stitch and then you can fasten off and you can leave a little bit of a tail because you are going to use that tail to fasten it onto the end of this.
I'll just use the other side of the piece where the beginning tail was and I'll just do some knots and then that's it so I'm just going to insert a clip hopefully with my cat playing with it um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it with all your kitty cat crocheting friends, which if I know correctly, a lot of crocheters have kitty cats. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!